How's it going guys? Thanks for tuning in. This is my first antelope and elk hunt in northern New Mexico. We trained really hard for this. We did a lot of cardio and workout with Justin. We trained really hard. We got ready for this in preparation for the southwest. There's a lot of obstacles and mountains and challenges to face when hunting. It's been a crazy year with the coronavirus and just an unbelievable 2020 and no excuses. We came out strong and we got it done and it was the best time. Shout out to everybody that helped me out. Go. Throw a rock. hunt in a couple weeks here getting in some practice shots social distancing keeping our distance we're out here uh, making it happen uh, here in the beautiful southwest of New Mexico here's my partner John yep. from New York getting it in with his nine mil careful <laughs> bought this gun at a gun show in Texas it's a Remington Model 721. I looked up this gun one day. I was going to sell it. I called the manufacturer. They told me this gun was made in 1951. I'm stoked. I'm glad I didn't sell it and uh, pretty happy. Let's make it happen. <laughs> It's loud. Out here in the middle of nowhere. Get on the glass one the first day. What are you doing? Making a video. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to charge you a fee for that one. <laughs> out here in the hunt got the old truck on this watery windmill beautiful morning found some water see some sign oh, look at that 
Oh look, it's pumping it. Save the chicken for tomorrow. Yeah. I guess we'll cook something else tonight, right? Yeah. Just saw about 30 antelope. They're about a thousand yards out, and we just couldn't get to them. We had the cow decoy, me and John, and Doyle, the king. About to go check out another watering hole. Hopefully, we see some more. How's it going, guys? Wish we could have got the antelope kill on video, but. We didn't have time to grab the camera and it was a great hunt. It was the best time ever. We drove around at the end of the day. This is the end of the first day. We got to the top of this really nice glassing spot at the top of the hill. I mean, you could see for miles and miles. So I spotted this little white dot. It looked like the size of a pencil lid with your binoculars. And I was just walking across the desert. And sure enough, it was a mature antelope. You could see the little antlers on it from five, seven miles away. And you could see right there, touching the gas tank, that's the antler. So we drove down there. And then Lopez, the gentleman with the knife, with the green shirt, skinning it right next to me. The professional hunter guided me towards the antelope. As soon as we got out of that truck right there, we started face crawling about 200, 300 yards in the open desert floor. And we got to the one little cover that we saw. There was a little yucca cactus out there about the size of a super small recycled trash can. We were hiding behind it. And Lopez goes, can you see him? And I was like, no, I can't see him. He's like, he's right there, just look. And sure enough, there he was laying down, scanning the area. Just going back and forth, back and forth. He was oblivious to our location. And the wind was perfect. It was going straight towards us. So we just stayed there and kept watching him. And he got up, and then he just sat back down. He was 506 yards away. And then at this point, it was really starting to cook in that August heat. We waited there for about 30, 45 minutes. We decided to crawl back to the truck, got some water. I don't know how Lopez knew how to go around him. It was just insane how he guided me. We crawled another 200 yards. And then once we got there, we're super close. We're 240 yards away. And uh, I remember we had the bipod up on our knees. And I just looked down the scope and sure enough he was right there looking straight into my soul through the scope it was the most intense moment of my life i just could not squeeze the trigger i was so tight and too much pressure on my shoulders i could feel that stress of not of missing the shot even though he was right in front of me i just couldn't pull the trigger i was so nervous before he knew it he stood up took off running around us and Lopez said get up just get up so we stood up we adjusted the bipod sticks standing up firing position I put the crosshairs on him as he's running across the field and then Lopez goes he's gonna stop he's gonna stop get ready and then sure enough he stopped he looked right back at us at, and the whole time he was running I had the crosshairs right on him and then he stopped he was looking right at me and then the only thing Lopez told me was 326, 326 yards. And I had the second bubble from the main reticle right on his shoulder. 
and I just slowly started to boom. And my gun went off, and I saw the antelope drop through the scope, and I was super excited when I saw him go down. It was the best time ever. It was great. And we dragged him out of the desert by the antlers all the way back to the truck, and then we started gutting him in the back of Doyle's brand new truck, blood everywhere. It was a great time. It was awesome. It was the best hunt ever. H&H &H processing for all your wild game processing needs. Springer, New Mexico. Just got my antelope. Sorry, I wish I would have got it on camera. Got my antelope at 325 yards. That was ridiculous. It feels great. Get out the way. Shh. Shh. Ugh. <laughs> oh, jeez. <geez. laughs> Look at the whole crowd coming at you now. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 oh, jeez. They'll bite you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Northern New Mexico. <clears throat> We're out here in the middle of nowhere trying to be quiet. We're setting up the camp right now. Nice and cool. Got the tent set up. Everybody's getting ready. It's gonna be a good time. <laughs> There's a TP tent. A truck. Got John. Getting ready. Getting ready to go hunting. Yes, sir. <laughs> Here we are in beautiful New Mexico. First day of the elk hunt. This is where we're hunting, out here in this beautiful public land. It's been a good day, saw a lot of elk. Saw about 10 elk and three big bucks and we're going home, get some food and relax. And seeing clear water, I've never seen that before. <laughs> Dang. Holy <laughs> moly. Shit. No, it's cold. Watch that giant now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is fucking dirty. I don't know if I want to go in too deep. Yeah. I think I'm good right here. <laughs> it looks shallow. It's deep right there. Shit. <laughs> 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 
Hijo de su madre. Oh, God. Feels good on the calves right now. I'm just gonna see what happens here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Got it. Just do it, it feels great. <laughs> feels good, right? I'm a professional hunter. Yeah. We're getting there. <laughs> Look at this. Blow it out here in the middle of nowhere. This could all be yours. If you want to go elk hunting. Yeah, out here at our unit. Beautiful out here. Oh yeah. Not gonna believe this, but I just shot an elk with my bow and arrow. <laughs> Woo About to go back to the truck, get the bag, see if we can find them. I heard a crash back there, but I'm gonna give them about a 45 minutes to an hour to bleed out properly. If I hit them, I heard a crash back there and get the game bag. See you soon. National Forest, baby. Property boundary. I did it. I fucking did it! Me and my boy John, my partner. It was a good season. Trying to get back to the truck before it gets dark. It's getting dark soon. Look at this beautiful place. Careful, careful. Out here looking for my elk I jumped the gun and thought it was gonna be there we couldn't find it we've spent countless hours looking for it no blood nothing went straight through it but we cannot find it it's the worst feeling in the world wild game antelope jalapeno bacon and cheese burger custom processed Got some sausages too. Get this bad boy. Got the antelope and the uh, antelope bratwurst on the grill here. See what happens in some peppers. Looking good. It was a good trip. 
went hiking on the Sandia Mountains. Say hi. Hi. Say hello. Hello. Tell See you next time. Our numbers. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Yes. Perfect. Good job.